Well, uh, Julia, I would like to ask you about your classroom experience. It seems that my students face some problems in our classroom discussions. And, um, well, I don't think that these are economic problems. Yeah, I know what you mean. The skills we are talking about are soft skills that are necessary, that are responsible for success in career and life. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it's true. My students usually demonstrate uh, a degree of, you know, um, fluency in the way they like, put forward their ideas. They demonstrate this academic knowledge that they have gained and even professional skills. But as, as far as we are talking about communication and as soon as uh, they have to analyze something and discuss it in class, so they seem to face an obstacle yeah. to have a hurdle. Yeah. Academic knowledge and academic skills have little to do with emotional life. Uh, so if you are good at academic subjects, it doesn't mean that you are as good uh, mm -hmm. in communication, can mediate conflicts and have empathy. These mm -hmm. are soft skills that are responsible for all. Well, so I face, I face such problems very often. And um, what I would like to point out today is that I'm not the only teacher who faces such problems. Mm -hmm. And of course, all these teachers, um, they want to have the recipe and how to uh, how to involve their students in all their discussions, especially in a multicultural classroom, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, as far as a uh, multicultural classroom may be very challenging for a teacher. And um, so the, um, the need to give our students the experience, uh, the experience of um, social interaction, and uh, some help in acquiring the sense of community with the learners of different cultural backgrounds. In our workshop, we will speak about the skills which help students to be more sociable, creative, efficient, and what's more important, reach and enjoy a sense of group unity and cooperation. These are soft skills that can be effectively taught at EFL classes. We will outline the notion of soft skills, their types, as well as explain the concept of sense of community. We'd like to discuss how English teachers can contribute to developing learners' soft skills, emotional intelligence and sense of community, both in the classroom and online. In addition, we are going to share some techniques for forming and developing soft skills and specifically sense of community and try them out with the audience of the session. The research shows that soft skills usually include such groups as personal qualities, most of them make up emotional intelligence, a group of skills that are responsible for making social interaction, the soft skills which are concerned with intercultural skills and a career. So, if the skills are so important, the main question for us as educators is how to form and develop them in the ELT classroom, virtual or real one. In the session, we'll introduce several successful activities that can increase undergraduates' mindfulness, inspire them, develop their empathy and sensitivity to cultural differences. Participants will leave with many valuable ideas that can be used in EFL classes. Furthermore, we will focus on the issue of sense of community, that is, a feeling that members matter to one another and the group, a feeling of belonging. A strong feeling of unity increases commitment to collective aims, satisfaction with the group efforts, leads to growth of trust and support among learners, reduces burnout in the educational process. We are convinced that in order to create and maintain a sense of community in the classroom or at a distance, learners should have shared emotional connection, common goals, be encouraged to help others, and learn from others. Finally, we, teachers, need to lessen the level of control and give more autonomy to students. 
We would be happy to hear what techniques participants use to foster a feeling of community among their learners. Finally, attendees will learn insightful pedagogical techniques and tricks to stimulate peer collaboration and sense of belonging, which nowadays all of us need as never before. Let's come together.